On page 50, let's take a look at example number four. This does come in in the extension part of this uh, unit, but I find it to be very useful for this stuff and also for future math, just to keep, understand the concept. So we're going to look at some easy examples here, just an introduction. Right? So on page uh, 50, example four, part A, when we look at this one over here, it asks us to convert these variables into mixed form. So think about this. So I don't want to do the extension like all the time, but this is for explanation. What this is, is our x multiplied six times. That's what this means. And the y is uh, five times. So remember when we're doing a square root, we're looking for perfect squares. So I can write this as x squared, two of them. So that makes a perfect square. This will make a perfect square. And then this will make a perfect square. So if I just think about the x's part, I have three of these x's, which are perfect squares. So that means when I take a square root of each one of them, so if you take a square root of an x squared, remember it just becomes x. Okay. So that means one of this will come out. So this x squared will become x. This x squared will become x. And then this x squared will become x. So underneath the radical sign, all of them actually came out. As for as for y, I was able to make two pairs of perfect squares. And then one y was left over. So one of this was able to come out here. Another y was able to come out. And the one that was alone was left inside. So in the end, I had x cubed, y squared, all to the square root of 1. Okay? A shorter way to think this question is to think about when we have something like this. How many pairs of 2 can I make out of my x? I have 6 x's. How many pairs of 2 can I make? I can make three pairs of x squares. And then how many pairs of uh, y squares can I make out of them? I can only make two y squares. So then I'm left with just one y inside. The same thinking is if you were to like, think of six divided by two, you know it will go evenly three times and nothing is left over. And then if it was five and you were trying to make it into pairs of two, we can make two pairs and then one is left over. So two come out and one is left over. And we can do that to any one of these. So let's see if I was trying to do with this number. Root 32, you would split your 32 with your perfect square root um, method. So this will give you 16 and 2, which give you 4 square root 2. So when it comes to number, we use our old method. In 7, how many pairs of 2 can you make? Well, I can make 3 pairs, and then 1 is left over. In C, it's 8. How many pairs of 2 can you make? I can make 4 of them, and 1 is left over. So that's my answer.